everyone! Today we are going to be doing another tag video. I am away on vacation right now, so um, tag videos are probably the easiest for me right now, but I'm going back home this week, so definitely some more um, makeup videos and all that stuff. But today we are going to be doing the 50 random facts about me tag. So it was really hard, it took me a long time to kind of figure out what all of these 50 things would be, so it's kind of a little bit sporadic and all over the place, but um, anyways, I wanted to do this just so you guys get to know me a little bit better as well. So let's get started. My middle name is Jean, so J-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, and that is French for Jean. I'm really tall. I say I'm six feet tall. I'm a hairdresser. I've been doing it for about six years. I guess this would be my seventh year into it, um, all in total from school and everything. Um, I studied in Ottawa, and then when I moved to Vancouver, I brought my skills over there and um, started out fresh from there. In addition to being a hairdresser, I'm also a dance teacher. I've been dancing or teaching dance for about 11 years now and I really love it. It's definitely one of my biggest passions and I'm just so lucky to be able to do it as a career. I was a dancer in the 2010 Olympic Games opening ceremonies in Vancouver. I was a tap dancer in the Rhythms of the Fall section. So go ahead and check out um, on YouTube that stuff and maybe you'll see me in there. On the NBC version there was a couple shots of me. I was blonde, but definitely go check that out to see if you can spot me. With me rehearsing for the games, unfortunately I took a couple falls um, and a couple falls earlier, um, you know, always dancing and stuff. I had to get knee surgery, so I had knee surgery. I had to repair a uh, torn meniscus, so that was I think two years ago I guess. I have a tattoo of a dancer on my back. It's just five lines, but I really liked the silhouette and how it kind of moved. I found it online, actually, somewhere on Google, Google Images, um, when I was really, really young, when I was, I don't even think I was teaching dance yet, and I just found this image and I absolutely loved it. It was so delicate, so, you know, simple, and I really, really loved it, and I, I put it on the back of my back all insert a picture somewhere um, but anyway I really really love it and it's definitely an addiction because I do want another one I'm just not sure what or where yet. I used to have my nose pierced but unfortunately I had to let it grow over because um, with the whole knee surgery thing I had to take it out for the MRI um, and then between that time of taking it out getting my MRI done and then leaving it was already grown over so unfortunately I don't have it anymore but I have had my nose pierced. I grew up in Ottawa, Ontario which is the capital of Canada um, with the parliament buildings and stuff and yeah. I have the largest sweet tooth ever. I will eat a pie over dinner any day like an entire pie. Um, unfortunately I don't eat much sugars anymore because it's really bad for me, um, but I really love anything sweet, chocolate, cakes. I like pies over cakes, but anything sweet will do, chocolate bars, danishes, anything, you name it, I will eat it. I, in addition to loving sweet foods, I do love to go out and experiment with um, a multitude of different cuisines, I guess you could say. So I love, you know, Thai food, um, Japanese food, I love sushi, you know, the sashimi, the raw fish, I love it. You know, um, I just love getting out there and trying new things, and I will definitely at least try something once. I have not come across anything too crazy, but this will get to my next one. My next, I guess, fact is I have actually eaten a cricket. I know. I know you guys are all saying, ew, but I was dared, first of all. Second of all, you know those um, containers of those dead crickets that they sell at like gag shops? I got one for my birthday and I was dared to eat one and it was pretty gross. Well, I don't know, I think it was mentally pretty gross because it was a cricket, but you know, it actually didn't really taste like anything and I kept my, my tongue away from my teeth as I was chewing it. So to be quite honest, there was not really too much of a taste there, but I think mentally it was pretty gross. But I have eaten a cricket. I am in love with anything vintage, 1940s, 1950s, kind of that, those eras I absolutely love. If I can wear my hair in those like um, victory rolls and all that stuff with those big cute little dresses, 
like Madman esque, you know, all those, you know, Marilyn Monroe, Audrey Hepburn, and all that. I would, I would, I honestly would if I was not lazy like I am in the mornings. I definitely would love to just kind of be there and dress like that all the time because I just have this obsession with it. I, we recently moved and my new, um, apartment has a blue 50s stove so it was made in the 50s 50s or 60s I can't quite remember maybe late 50s and it's like this blue stove separate from the um, oh sorry oven it's not a stove the stove is separate stove top but it's this oven and being tall it's up above a little bit I absolutely love it I saw the stove and I was like I'm sold I am the biggest klutz I find any way and every way to hurt myself or you know, just kind of, ugh, I don't even know, I'm just a flailing mess. Which brings me to the next couple. I've torn my hamstring. It was a grade 2 of 3, I guess they do a grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 or whatever. I was a grade 2 torn hamstring of my right leg, which was not very fun because it was in the middle of a dress rehearsal for a show. It was disgusting and honestly, like, I, all I remember is, you know how you crumple up tissue paper? That's what I heard in my ears. Like, it was just, oh, like, it had stick to my stomach. And it was, I could, I could barely walk. And um, even now, like, this was a couple years, or a few years ago, it still really, really bothers me. Uh, but, yeah, it was not very fun. And, of course, it happened to me on a dance dress rehearsal and not the actual show. Yay me. As some of you know if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I broke my arm uh, last year. I uh, grew 2012 I guess. It's 2013 now. But I broke it in September. Uh, if you, I have a blog as well. But I was running for the cure. Doing the run for the cure. But I was training for that. So this was I think the first week of September. I was running and I fell. And I was so concerned because I fell on my knee and I had a really deep cut that I actually thought I needed stitches. Um, it wasn't until a couple days later that my wrist started to hurt. Now my wrist really really hurt to the point where it like actually made me nauseous. Um, of course I didn't really think about it. It was about a month in where I decided to actually go to the doctor. So I went to the doctor and he thought it was tendonitis. Anyways, long story short, they um, misdiagnosed it a couple times until finally somebody sent me to get an x-ray and sure enough I had actually broken it. So I fell in September. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was the first week of September because it was a week before I went back to teaching dance and I got the x-ray and it was broken and that was on Halloween. I actually got my cast on Halloween. So imagine all of that walking around with a broken wrist. I broke my radius just at the base um, of my radius so I had my purple cast um, there as well. So that was my actually first major break. I have broken many minor bones, like with my toes and my fingers, which brings me to the next. I can do this with my fingers because I have broken and sprained these two fingers multiple times. So we used to tape them together so that I would practice doing this or I would tape them like this. So then I could do that with my fingers because I have broken them or sprained them so many times and I can't do it with this one. Ah, this is a little random, but I am an organ donor. Um, to me, I think, you know, once I pass, you know, it's really important to kind of um, continue, like, experimenting, I guess. Like, I won't need them. Uh, you know, they're just going to be in the ground. So I think, you know, if I could help somebody else, I would love to do that. So whether my organs go to somebody who does, who really, really needs it, which I hope that happens, or, you know, even my body just goes to, you know, scientists or like um, med students or whatever, you know, anything to do to help to kind of experiment, you know, to help other people, you know, once I'm gone because I won't need any of it. I love cooking and I love baking. I also have a blog. It's called uh, the weight is over 101. WordPress.com. Anyway, I'll put the link below if you want to check that out. Um, but I love cooking and I love baking. I wish I wasn't so lazy because I would def definitely do it more often, um, but I definitely love to experiment with new new things. Like going out to eat at restaurants, I do love experimenting at home as well. I do not know how to drive. I am 26 years old and I do not know how to drive. I never got my license when I was younger. I got my, I guess what you do is your written exam and then you do a driving exam and then you have your, excuse me, driver's license or whatever. I don't really know how it works. So I've done my written exam, but that was 
so many years ago and it's definitely expired now and being in Vancouver and being in Ottawa I've just been so close to the bus and you know it's just been so much cheaper for me so, so much more practical for me um, you know, because then if I were to get my driver's license, I'd have to have a car and have the cost for having a car because you have to do insurance, gas, you know, if anything were to go wrong, you'd have to save for that. And it's just all of these things that I'm just not prepared for financially. So I have not um, done that. But eventually I do, would I do want to learn how to drive for sure. I absolutely hate olives. They are disgusting. Oh, they like make me gag. Opposite to hating olives, I absolutely adore pickles. I love pickles so much, I used to, not anymore, used to drink the juice of the pickles. So in the pickle jar, I would always get in trouble because the pickles would dry out because I would just grab one pickle, fill a bowl of juice, dip it, and then drink it. Disgusting, I know. I don't do it so much anymore, but it had to be dill pickles or garlic dill pickles or whatever. I am a huge crafter. I am one of those annoying people who puts Bristol boards for school projects with all of the bubble letters and all of these like fancy doodahs like Martha Stewart. I am one of those. I love crafting, anything crafty, absolutely love it. I have never ever been the only Sarah in any of my classes ever. There has always been at least one more Sarah in all of the classes that I have been in growing up. I unfortunately cannot sing. My dad can sing, my sister can sing, but I cannot sing. Unfortunately, I am tone deaf. How I got those genes, I have no idea because I have always and still always want to be in a girl band. I am in love with kale. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like a leafy green. I absolutely love it. Like love, love, love. Nobody should love a superfood you just eat them, right? You just eat them because you know they're good for you, but honestly, kale is my favorite. I love it plain. I love it sauteed, especially homemade kale chips. I hate those kale chips that they pre-make in the stores and those bags that you get. Oh, they're so gross. Like, they make me want to hurl. But if you make them on your own, by yourself at home in your oven or in a dehydrator, they are to die for. All you need is olive oil and a little bit of salt throw them in the oven or dehydrator, you're golden. So good. Love it. I am a knitter. I recently just took up knitting. Uh, my mom's a knitter and she really loves to knit. So for one Mother's Day, I think it was last year, I decided to look on YouTube how to knit because you can learn anything and everything on YouTube. Um, so anyways, I looked up YouTube and I wanted to learn how to knit so that I can send her some Mother Day, Mother's Day um, like a kitchen set with dish towels and stuff. So that's what I did and that's how I learned how to knit and then I found a love for it so I've been doing that ever since and most of my, actually all of my gifts that I've been giving out since then have all been knitted things. I love shopping. I love, you know, getting new things, buying new things. I just love everything about it. But this brings me to my second fact is I have a hard, hard time buying anything full price. I just it's just, oh, I don't know, I just can't, it's really hard for me to do it. I'll buy, say if they've got tank tops, they'll buy, you know, two for ten or whatever. I'm okay with that. But if, you know, I just, one for seven ninety nine, it's like, oh, I'll wait for the sale. Or, you know, I'll wait until I can get, you know, a package with a little bit bonus extra. You know, I just find it really, really difficult to buy something full price. Um, yeah, especially because everything can be quite expensive. You know, a t-shirt for $45? I don't think so. It's not, just not going to happen. So I definitely love to shop, but then I love bargains as well. So I really, really love to, um, you know, look for all of those goodies. I barely paint my nails. I have some nail tutorials on my channel, um, but I don't really like to paint my nails because I am way too impatient. They take forever to dry and they chip really really easily so you know you've got your your fast drying ones but you know they still chip and it just drives me mental so last week I actually oh no was it last week I don't know but I got this um, shellac done as you can see it's growing out it must have been two weeks ago but it's shellac and I absolutely love it it um, cost how much did it cost me like 15 bucks 
to get it on, which is a little bit expensive, uh, but I'm on vacation, um, so I decided to do it, and I absolutely love it. Two weeks ago, I used my hands for everything, and it's not even chipped. I absolutely love it. I will be doing it again. I'm thinking about maybe um, buying the UV UV thing um, with the nail polish, shellac nail polishes, so I can do it at home, just because I absolutely love it. Being a hairdresser and dealing with color, your nails tend to get brown, especially when you do a lot of color. So I like to wear nail polishes or something over my nails so that the, that doesn't happen. I love dressing up. I love going to parties and dressing fancy or going to costume parties. I love Halloween. I love experimenting with different um, characters. I, you know, love everything and anything about it. I always go all out. So for one year, actually it was the year that I had my knee surgery. It was horrible. Um, but I was less than 24 hours out of surgery and we had a Halloween party at my house, bad idea. Um, but yeah, I had a mermaid costume and I made it. It was a tail with a little bra. And my makeup, I had like scales on my face and the whole shebang, like I went all out less than 24 hours after knee surgery. So I, um, goes to show I, I love costumes and dressing up and everything like that. This is a real thing and I promise Google it. I'm allergic to the cold. I hate the cold. I hate being cold. My fingers, if even if I wear gloves, you know those dollar store gloves, my fingers will swell up to sausages and it's like hives. They're hi hives induced by cold, I guess. And um, they get swollen up like sausages. I get hives, especially on my thighs because usually the wind's coming at you. Um, so on my thighs, I tend to get a lot of, of hives, and big, huge hives. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, when I'm in the cold too long, or if it's really windy and it's really, really cold. Um, and then sometimes it gets so bad that, like, my nerves start to shake, so my legs will start to do this, and I can't even control it. It's the weirdest thing, honestly. Um, so I think that's why I don't really like the winters too much, and I really don't like cold, because... Um, I'm allergic to it and it's really, really uncomfortable, especially coming back inside and, you know, my, my skin starts to swell up and although it doesn't get as itchy, but it just gets really, really painful. Um, but anyways, if you actually don't believe me, I know a couple more people who are allergic to the cold and you can definitely go Google it. Um, it'll tell you all about it in there. I never leave the house without foundation on. I have acne, unfortunately, and... I have a video on my channel about how to cover it, how I cover it. Although I don't wear it like that video all of the time, um, I do definitely have to wear something just to dull out the redness, um, just because I'm really self-conscious about it. So I always wear um, foundation on my face. Even if I don't wear eyes, cheeks, or lips, I'll always wear foundation. I love to tap dance. I've been doing tap dance for the longest time, um, and I absolutely love it. I just got new shoes, which I'm excited to try out in September. Uh, I haven't had new shoes in a really long time, like 15 years, long time. <laughs> so it would be really, really interesting to try those out, but I absolutely love to tap dance. Being a dance teacher and having to choreograph a lot of numbers, I find it really, really hard to kind of um, just be put in the dance studio to start choreography. I usually start choreography sitting down and just thinking about it. So I go through what's happening in my brain. I'll listen to the song and, um, you know, I'll choreograph the, the general outline of the dance in my head just sitting down and then you know if I if I am iffy about a section then I'll go into the studio to uh, practice it like actually practice it or you know if I think it'll work then I'll actually you know teach it and then if something doesn't then I'll work on it then um, but most of my choreography starts um, in my head sitting down not moving <laughs> it's quite interesting I suck at small talk I you know, being a hairdresser, I, I'm, I'm good at it during work because you ask, you know, the same questions and leading questions and you really want to hear more about your client. But, you know, when I'm at parties, when I don't know necessarily everybody or, you know, just being at parties, I am a, an observer, I would say. So I, I really suck at kind of, you know, introducing myself, getting to know people. Um, I don't know why I've always been like that. I've gotten a lot better over the years, but it's definitely something that I need to improve on. Um, yeah. In addition to that, I I would rather watch card games or watch board games than actually playing them. I know it sounds weird, but I actually enjoy watching them. 
I, I don't, I get anxiety about playing them, just especially if it's a new game that I've never played before, I would much rather just watch, and um, you know a lot of people just think I'm bored, but I actually do enjoy it. Um, there's a couple games that I do like to play, uh, which is Ops Apples, Cards Against Humanity, even though those are pretty much similar games. I can't think of other ones right now, um, but yeah, I do would rather just watch. I don't like leafy salad, I don't like green salad. I don't mind Caesar, but I'd rather just eat my veggies either steamed or raw or anything like that. I really don't like leafy salads. My guilty pleasure is Dance Moms. I know. I don't watch Toddlers and Tiaras, I don't watch any of that stuff, but I do watch Dance Moms and it's horrible. One of my pet peeves is people with earphones or headphones on and you can hear their music. It honestly drives me mental. I hate it so much. Like, you know, I'll take my earbuds off, or put my earbuds in, turn the music on until I can comfortably hear it, take it off, make sure nobody can, nobody else can hear it, then put it back in my ears. Because, you know, they invented earphones for a reason, so you can hear your music and not everybody else. You know, if you're going to hear, you're, first of all, you're going to make yourself deaf. Um, second, you know, they're for a reason the whole bus, which usually happens on the bus, doesn't really want to hear. Like, even though I may like the song you're listening to, who knows if the person beside me will. You know, you've got to have respect for everybody else. So, if you are guilty of this, I challenge you to turn down your music. It drives me mental. Another pet peeve of mine is walking down a sidewalk. Now, there's room for about, you know, three, two to three on the sidewalk. So if you're in a group of three, for example, and somebody is coming towards you, move out of the way. It's called sharing. Sharing and caring. Share the sidewalk with everybody else. Um, you know, especially because it's oftentimes like I'm on the side of the street and people are just walking towards me and they won't even move. So where am I supposed to go? Busy street or stand where I am? So oftentimes, you know, to walk right into them because I've got nowhere to go. So be mindful of people coming towards you on the sidewalk. Just veer to one side or the other because nobody wants to be put in that situation. It's like the loud music. Be respectful of others. I have naturally curly hair, although it's straight right now um, because I straightened it. This is my second day hair ponytail, uh, but I do have curly hair and if you've watched any of my other videos you will notice that some of them are curly and that is my natural hair. When I was younger, I was blonde. I was really, really blonde, very, very curly, and very, very short hair. Um, and then it just got a little bit darker as the years went on. And this is, I've got a little bit of color in there now, but the darkest part of this hair is, is my natural hair color. When I graduated high school, I was on the honor roll. I also graduated as an Ontario scholar. When I was younger, I had a collection of Barbies, and I wouldn't really play with the Barbies, i just play with their hair. I would practice French braids, um, different hairstyles, um, to see how they did it, and then I would recreate it on my hair, on myself. Um, so I was able to do French braid at a very young age, because I would practice it on my Barbies and then practice it on myself. In the mornings, or I guess at night, I would set, or I do set, about five alarms. So see if I have to get up at seven o'clock. I'll set my alarm for 6, 6.15, 6 6.30, 6.45, 7, and then 7.15. Guess when I get up? At 7.15. It drives Matt crazy. And if I were him, it'd drive me crazy too. <laughs> but I don't know, I just have to set all of those alarms. Even though I don't get up on the early ones, um, I'm just so scared that I, w I just won't get up. I wear glasses wear in quotations because I do have two pairs of glasses and I should wear them there for distance but I definitely don't because I sometimes feel they look a little bit awkward. I've been to every province in Canada. I've never been to the uh, territories or anything like that um, but I have been to all of the provinces across Canada. I've been to all of the provinces across Canada and the country is so huge and so beautiful and I challenge you all, you Canadians, even you know, if you're not Canadian, I would definitely go traveling across Canada because it's so huge and just so different from every province that, um, you know, it's really, really nice just to kind of see the progression from one coast to the other. Finally, last but not least, I cannot have anybody in the house when I am filming. I find it extremely awkward and random that I'm talking to myself, even though I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to an empty room, to a camera, 
which could be a little bit awkward, and you just ramble. So anyways, that is my last fact. Hopefully you liked all of these facts. It was really hard to come up with 50 of them, and I know they seemed a little bit sporadic. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed getting to know me better. I definitely take all of you guys because I like to know more about you. Don't forget to check out my blog, um, Twitter and Instagram as well. And anyways, if you like this video, thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!